It's the biggest change in the Ford Everest short history, but the 2022 Everest brings not only a bold new exterior design, but a host of changes, including an upgraded four-wheel drive system, more interior space, and for the first time, a V6 engine. Let's explore the 2022 Ford Everest. The 2022 Everest is the second generation of the brand's most popular SUV, a seven-seater that Ford pitches against Toyota's dominant Prado, and to a lesser extent, the Fortuna. It shares its platform with the Ford Ranger, and that's not a bad thing given Ranger's off-road prowess and its sales popularity. The Everest's new design reflects that relationship more closely, with both vehicles easily fitting into the global design language of Ford's worldwide lineup. These include what Ford calls C-clamp LEDs and part of a coast-to-coast -coast horizontal front-end treatment. In a sea of generic SUVs, you're certainly not going to mistake your Everest for any other SUV in the local car park or when going off-road. Ford's also worked on creating a more user-friendly package, including a lighter tailgate that also opens up in a smaller amount of space. It's also worked on an easier entry and exit for third-row passengers, as well as details like foot placement in an effort to maximise passenger comfort. As well as the new exterior, some key changes include an increase in wheelbase by 50 millimetres, as well as an increase in track by 50 millimetres over the previous Everest. Not only does this give it a planted, stronger look, it also enables more interior space. More of the actions at the rear of the car though, where you can see engineers have pulled out the body to lose the frumpy and narrow look of the previous model Everest. It also includes greater cargo space with a cargo area that can be folded completely flat. Now the previous Ford Everest was lauded for its off-road capability, but its interior didn't quite have the polish of its on and off-road performance. That's all changed with the 2022 Everest, which gains technology from the Ford Ranger, including the large digital centre screen and full digital instrumentation. There's a chunky e-shifter below that centre screen, while Ford's SYNC 4 infotainment system brings wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, while there's wireless smartphone charging capability too. The centre display has a fantastic off-road screen, while there's also the ability to apply things like trailer dimensions, for example, so that the blind spot information system can cover the vehicle and the trailer as well. That's part of a suite of tech that includes a stunning digital instrument cluster, rear cross traffic alert and rear auto braking as well. Park Assist 2 now does everything, including applying the throttle and brake. The new Everest also includes up to nine airbags, including a new centre airbag between the front passengers. Now this is the trend level, one of four trim levels that Ford will offer in Australia, headlined by a new Platinum Edition. As the premium engine option, the V6 comes with a new 10R60 10-speed automatic transmission and also endows Everest with its highest tow rating yet, 3,500 kilograms. That's better than the current 2.0-litre Biturbo's 3100 and the outgoing 3.2-litre Everest engine's 3,000 kilogram rating. Also assisting with towing, higher spec model Everest will come with integrated trailer brakes as Ford's tried to assist customers looking to accessorise and add aftermarket parts to their vehicle. Ford says that most of the Everest's numbers are up, for better or for worse, although some like water weighting remain the same at 800 millimetres. There's more underbody protection and the retuned suspension which offers greater articulation and the revised 4x4 system show that Ford's actively pursuing the off-road market. And looking at the styling, it's definitely a more robust looking SUV. But of course, all the talks about the new V6. And we don't know power and torque figures for the new engine just yet, but we'll find out when we drive the new Everest later in 2022.